Sam Altman's WorldCoin is live and has divided the crypto community once again over issues like centralization and privacy. That hasn't stopped the project from trading at a fully diluted valuation north of $20 billion, however. The WorldCoin project was announced over three years ago with the promise of increasing economic opportunity, enabling global democratic processes and paving the way to AI-funded universal basic income. With the rapid advance of AI, it's arguably becoming more difficult to distinguish human activity from algorithms. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman thinks WorldCoin is the solution. So let's see what the eyeball scanning crypto project known as WorldCoin has managed to achieve with the hundreds of millions of dollars invested in launching the project. Meet ETHX by Stata Labs, a liquid staking token designed to keep Ethereum decentralized while being accessible, reliable, and rewarding. More on them later. WorldCoin's Twitter or X page tweeted various GMs featuring the recognizable orbs from Miami, Tokyo, London, and Singapore to announce the rollout of 1,500 orbs in 35 cities around the world. The orbs contained a mirror gimbal to scan the user's iris, which is then linked to the user's wallet. WorldCoin is offering a digital passport called World ID to users who sign up by scanning their eyeballs with the orb. And the point of getting a World ID is to prove that the holder is human and not an AI robot. WorldCoin is further comprised of WorldCoin token and the World app. While some users reported issues with the app and the verification process, others appear more focused on the dystopian nature of needing to use an iris scan to prove their humanity. Despite the onboarding friction and some backlash, WorldCoin has reached 2 million signups already. Zach XPT thinks WorldCoin is exploiting people in developing countries, and he shares this deleted tweet as evidence. WorldCoin oil posters were also placed around San Francisco to announce the upcoming launch. Now, in addition to the centralization and privacy concerns we just mentioned, Nifty Nort also points out security concerns with WorldCoin, reminding us that WorldCoin operator passwords have been stolen in the past and that iris scans were bought and sold on the black market for as little as a dollar. And although co-founder Alex Blanier refused to disclose WorldCoin's commercial ambitions, due to regulatory scrutiny of course, the head of product Tiago Sada is convinced the project will make money, as all of their projects are for profit. Now before we continue with Vitalik's response, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Stada is a non-custodial multi-chain liquid staking platform for POS blockchains. With about $100 million in TVL, 50,000 wallets, and over 200,000 community members across six chains, Stada is now live on Ethereum with ETHX. ETHX is a liquid staking token designed to keep the Ethereum ecosystem decentralized by being accessible, reliable, and rewarding. The ETHX smart contracts have been triple audited, prioritizing the utmost security of your assets. As part of the launch incentives, Stada has earmarked a million dollars in rewards with 1.5x staking rewards and $800,000 in upcoming LP rewards. Power up your ETH with ETHX, stake now. Now back to our story. Traders appear to be unfazed by the concerns raised by community members who reiterated that freedom and decentralization might be more in demand than a world ID and currency. WorldCoin only has 1% of its market cap in circulation, with a fully diluted market cap of $22 billion, leading this user to conclude that the impressive increase in price was nothing more than pumping a microcap shitcoin. Several exchanges, including Binance, have listed the world token, but its distribution has also been called into question. Allocation to insiders and VCs apparently has been increased from 20 to 25%. Vitalik thinks WorldCoin has dystopian vibes and four major issues which could take years to fix. About centralization, he warns that if even one orb manufacturer is malicious or hacked, it can generate an unlimited number of fake iris scan hashes and give them world IDs. Twitter founder Jack Dorsey, on the other hand, thinks WorldCoin being an attempt at global scale alignment is cute. So how do you feel about WorldCoin's grand ambitions of tackling the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and their plans to build a privacy-first, decentralized, and maximally inclusive way of addressing the proof-of-personhood problem? Let us know in the comments and stay defiant.